Friday. It is Friday. I am ready for it too. If it could get about five o'clock and just stay for about three days. I was thinking more about a week. Well, yeah, yeah, that'll work. I used to say I, I hope this day hurry up and get over with to get to the weekend, but I have I have learned that after five o'clock on Friday is Monday. Yeah. Just man, so it's like a quarter of a day. In a yeah, I don't know how it, I don't know how it does that, but it is so. Well, either way, I was saying Matt Co come out with purple. We did come out. Well, that was a surprise to me, but um, there is purple. Um, that's what we've been really talking about this week to a lot of our customers. Um, after the whole blue deal, I didn't really think we was going to come out with another color. Um, so, color sale. Hey, you know they they've got a pre-order going on right now for um, the Maco three eighths and half inch going to be blue. Um, so those are coming out. You know we did the blue camo. Well now yeah. they've actually got the blue. Um, so they're asking people to you know talk to their dealers about that. So we've been broadcasting that and then. Now we're, we've seen the purple ratchets. We've seen the purple pry bars. They haven't been available to order. They're gonna be at Expo, so I'm gonna buy some purple stuff. There you go. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna anticipate that it's gonna sell well, so. Should, a lot of people wanted purple when they did the blue, so. Well, I've already got a purple uh, pry bar set and uh, every purple ratchet they have sold um, to one person that just magically seems to be standing right here. She's not placed her order, she wants it. So uh, we're gonna do purple for her, I guess. There you go. Start her on little tools and stuff. I've showed her before how to change oil and stuff. So she's helped me on a couple of the bigger jobs. You so. finally get a day off. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> she uh, she's good at it. She just wants me to check behind her and make sure everything's yeah. good. Well, that's so. smart though. But it's never it's never not been right. So uh, you know. There you go. I notice girls usually pay better attention to stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Like. <clears throat> you can show a guy something and they're like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what's crazy is that uh, I've probably said it before, and I don't mean to repeat myself, but when I worked at Toyota, they put an apprentice under me, and I, that's one of my jobs was to train apprentices. Yeah. And uh, I had one that I could show 14 times, and the first time he did it by himself, he was going to screw it up. Um, I could show him, you know, do it with him, you know, step by step. If as long as I was there, it would be right. But the first time he did it by himself, screw it up. I just told her how to change oil. Like, hey, cause go down there, do this, do that. No problem. Go to change brakes. Just told her, hey, just do this. Didn't show her. Just told her. Was able to do it. I 100% think women take time to think about what you're actually saying. I do too, and, and do and yeah, and the men's like, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, take the bolt out. I know, I know. What bolt was you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's go over it again. So, but yeah. That's true. I think, I think they pay attention, but it what? is what it is. What kind of cool deals you got this week? We have been making deals on pretty much everything. Um, we are trying to sell down the truck. I know that's usually not the method that you want to hear on a tool truck, um, but I'm trying to sell down so I can go heavy at Expo. I learned last year after spending so much at Expo and loading the truck up with deals, it sells and it mm -hmm. sells quick. So we're trying to make deals on everything we have just to get the stuff going so that when we go to Expo, we have yeah. the room for inventory growth. Um, yeah, you could always have a full truck, go down to Expo, buy heavy, but then you're battling on, okay, was that on a sell price? Was it not on a sell price? How many did I have? Mm -hmm. We're actually gonna walk the truck with our, uh, phone and on record so we can see what we got on the truck what we need and stuff like that um, but if it's on the truck this week we've been making a deal on it i think yesterday alone um i sold probably five things that's been on the truck for about a year just because i'm putting it just above cost to get rid of it just to, to get down at expo and, and have room for it so there you go um, we've been you know nipix pliers always sell well so we've been selling the nipix pliers like crazy um the Maco blue handle priors has been selling really well. I went heavy on those about three DM meetings to go, and I think I got two sets of blue left. So um, the selling through is working. I think we had 15 creepers, and we're down to what's on the back wall. So yep. um, just selling down. Ain't no I, blue ones left. We had uh, what? 
six tire inflators we're down to three so just just trying to get through the stuff trying to trying to teach some of the newer techs why, why it's handy to have some of the the better quality stuff and and some of that's incest you know instead of buying this buy this you know that's that becomes the major thing uh, yeah. if your two dealers not teaching you something then probably not trying very hard because i what, think we're Tim posted a picture of a really cool roll card. It was like a green with a wood grain Matco logo on it. Like it was, it was pretty sharp. I think he might have made that one. I haven't seen it. It's pretty snazzy. I think he always comes and thinks out of the box. Yeah. It looked he, really good. It reminded me of like the, the old school station wagons that had the wood panel on it, you know? Yeah. Like the way he did it. It was, it was really cool. I liked it. So. Hey, yeah, we've, we've got distributors like him that really think out of the box and, and are able to really um, capitalize on it. We've got a few plans coming for some carts and, and boxes and stuff. We just got to get to Expo and, and get it get it done. But yeah. It's just part of the process. But There you go. Why? I need to find something I ain't got. That's gonna be hard. We've loaded your box for what, five years now? Yeah. I like that little top off thing though. That's that's pretty cool. How are those doing? People really like them. They, they would like it more if the actual bottom of the tray was magnetized so that it would keep stuff from rolling around. Yeah. Um, but no, they, they really like them. We, we we open them up most of the time when we've got room, and we move them around to show people and let them move them around, um, and that really works well. Which um, earlier in the week we actually put a uh, demo of our drill bits and let people demo demo the drill bits and stuff like that. Um, we actually sold the drill, so uh, we sold the drill bits <laughs> too. But goes. somebody wanted the drill too, so. We just went ahead and sold the drill as well. Um, These are cool. I know, <clears throat> you know, I've, I've got the same one, but it's branded Snap-on. And it's the exact same one with the little yep. cutouts back here. And everybody was wanting the part number for that, and I couldn't get it. So here you go, if you want a, a Matco one. There you go. It's the exact same thing. Yep. It looks good. We have distributors actually rebuilding ratchets and stuff on there because of the ridges and stuff that keeps the little yep. springs and stuff and rolling around and stuff like that. And uh, if you're working on a whole lot of um, hybrid stuff, you already know that you've got a, the hybrid ones actually have um, a mat that's actually rated for the electricity and stuff. I'm mm. not saying this one is, but um, you have to have one of those to keep static electricity and stuff down. <coughs> um, well, I put mine on the top of that flip top roll cart. Yeah. And I was like, how am I going to put that thing under there so it don't scratch up my box? So I used that Velcro, <clears throat> I don't know what you call it, it's like the Velcro with the sticky stuff that you can pull it and it'll pop loose, you know what I'm talking about? The, yeah, yeah. I can't think of it, but, so I put the tabs on there and I stuck it to the box and then you can pull it up and it'll un-Velcro so you can clean it, but if you ever want to pull it off, you pull the little tab and, and that's it pops the key loose. thing, making it to where it can come come loose clean and uh, not leave a bunch of sticky mess and stuff like that. Because I was going to silicone it and I was like, man, I can't clean under it if I do that, right? And the yeah. grit and stuff will get on there and it'll scratch it up. So. Well, then if it started coming loose and the other half wouldn't, then you got to pull it loose and maybe not tear it up and stuff like that. My wife but, actually came up with that idea because I didn't know those things existed. And Hey, we said a while ago they were important, great. right? That's it. <clears throat> well, I'm looking forward to uh, the expo stuff. So well, they actually, it's February the 17th to the 22nd, or 18th to the 22nd. Um, 17th is a driving day, but um, it's really crazy that um, we've already got our price list and stuff, so we're already trying to make our order. That way, when we get down there, we're ready to go. So, right, right. Um, but now it's it's like a book, so it's taking a little while to get through. But cool. um, we're hoping to really, really capitalize on the deal and stuff like that but a lot of your dealers will start telling you that they're getting ready for expo and stuff like that so mm -hmm. if you're in the market for something big especially ac machines air compressors now's the time to talk to them because it never fails when we get back from expo 
uh, and the expo deals are gone, somebody's gonna say, hey, can you get a deal on you know, AC yeah. machine? Or <laughs> my compressor just died, I usually yeah. have a backup. Yeah, that was that, that time was you know and then we're looking for people that bought extra to try to get it so uh, if any of that you know lifts any of that big stuff mm -hmm. uh, a lot of things that we're getting caught on now is the um, you know our scan tools have the capability of doing the uh, sensors and stuff on the cars but you have to have the targets and stuff they're going to be there so if you're thinking about you know if you're a body shop or alignment shop or any of that and you want to be into the programming the sensors and stuff Talk to them about that setup too. That way you can get the sensors and get it all set up and ready to go. So any big purchases or small, we tell people it don't matter what you're looking for. Sure. If you've been waiting on a deal on it, now's the time. Let us know. Uh, we'll probably have a binder set up next week with a needs list. Uh, hey, if this is on a good deal, call me. And uh, so we'll be doing that while we're down there. Try cool. to get everybody what they need. There you go. All right. Well, we're looking forward to the deals. So. All right, guys, that's it. It's Friday. Enjoy the weekend. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check out here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. See ya.